What's up there, Serial of Us? I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna be doing the press conference um, reaction. The Soweto Derby, the big one, the one no one wants to lose. And yeah, I'm gonna talk about what the manager, Jose Rivero, and he was with Innocent Maela, our captain, at the press conference. And I'm, I'm, I think I'll start with the with the conference that Atazwane Mangeta Paul Mangeta Paul and he was with Kig and Dolly had just a few like two questions I think they asked them two questions that were relevant don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and share it with your other Bucks fans and everyone who wants to talk about football so he was with Kig and Dolly Atazwane was with Kig and, Zo Kig and Dolly and we know that the person who's usually at the press conference usually starts the game. That's how it works in in most conferences, in most press conferences. So he was with Keegan Dolly. I think Keegan Dolly is gonna be very important in tomorrow's match. And he's 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 one of the players that have shown a spark in that KZ Chiefs team. And I think he's gonna he's gonna take it very seriously tomorrow. He's gonna because it's a big game. It's a big game in South Africa. It's a big game in Africa. And apparently it's like top six derbies in the world. So that, that's a big thing, man. A lot of people are going to be watching this game, not just in South Africa, but all around the world. So the first question that I think was, that I think was relevant was updates, like injury updates, team news, and like... Jose does, others one has said he doesn't know. I don't understand what's wrong with these managers. Like, how can you say you don't know? But he, his, re his reply wasn't that bad because he said he doesn't know today, which was yesterday. The conference was yesterday. He doesn't know today, but hopefully he'll find out tomorrow. So I'm guessing if he knew, he would have replied to that because they asked him about... Um, Kune and Caleb, Bemi, Mi, Nyama, Nyama. They asked him about those two, and he said he doesn't know. So I'm, I'm very like that worries me. How, how are you a manager? You're supposed to be the coach, and you're supposed to know what's happening around your squad. Like how don't, how don't you know? You should keep um, tabs on your, on your players on a daily basis. It shouldn't be just a once-off thing or just a thing that happens before the game. You should be up to date with your squad. That's what I think. And then another question that was posed to him was that he he said before that um, KZ Chiefs needs divine intervention to win games or to score goals. I forgot which one is which. But yeah, he said, um, so they asked him, do you still think that KZ Chiefs needs divine intervention? Well, if you ask me, I'd say I do. But he said, well, they need, they don't, they don't need luck. They just need prayer. Um, and so I think he's a prayerful guy because he said they need prayer. And besides all the African things, you know, that African shandy. But yeah, he said uh, they need prayer and they're going to stick to prayer. But you know how prayer works. Both sides pray, man. Like. You need to take that extra, that extra notch. You can't just pray and not put in the work. So he said they're going to pray, they're going to put in the work, and if, if they do need luck, they need to finish their chances. So he, to him, Chiefs have been, have been creating a lot of chances, they just haven't been putting them in the back of the net, which is what we've been saying about Pirates too. Been creating a lot of chances, didn't have the people who were putting it in the back of the net. Lipasa, Evanga, Pepra. And yes, I think it's... Both teams have been suffering with, with finishing. And hopefully tomorrow we're going to see a couple of goals from both sides. So I think those are the two questions that really, I think, were relevant. And the others were just fillers to me. And... Then I also watched the Paris conference, which is the whole point of this video. Um, yes, Jose Rivero was with Innocent Maela on, on the stage. 
And first question that I think it was actually the first question. First question was asked was, does he like how the team is shaping up? Because he said um, he needs to see how the team is shaping up. So he said that he, he does. The team has been more competitive lately. They've been improving as a team, as a squad. And he thinks that he... The team is shaping up in a way that he would like to see it in the near future. So that's the answer he gave to that question. Next question was, he, did, he doesn't like dwelling on individuals. But then, Pirates have been relying on Salem lately to, to give us that extra edge. And he said that, no, Salem, Salem has obviously been playing well. But he's been playing well because... He has a good structure around him. He has good players around him. He's not he's not the only one playing well. And I was like, yeah, that's that's a very good answer. You can't have Salang hasn't been the only one playing good in that squad. Like we 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 have been he's he's putting in the performance, but he's not the only one putting in the performance. Performances rather. So very good question, simple question, and a simple answer. And then he was also asked about past derbies, what he thinks, and he said, like he said before, this is they're not playing in the past. The past had previous technical teams, previous coaches, that like um, different players, different coaches, that different players, different coaches. So it's gonna be a totally different ball game tomorrow, cause a lot has changed. Um, the run that Chiefs has had in the past or near past has been under other restrictions. We know that it was under COVID, the games were under COVID, and the crowds were not there. This is the first, this is the first, like, so we took Derby that's gonna be playing in front of a sold out stadium, FNP, and it's gonna be lovely, man. I know the stadium's gonna be bumping, and I have a lot of friends who are going there, and obviously you guys are going there, and it's going to be a beautiful game. And he was also asked, another question that I like, he was asked about the vibe, the atmosphere at the stadium. So he said, in South Africa, the stadiums are a party. Like, yeah, yeah, for you, it's, it's, a, it's an occasion. Every game is an occasion. The fans come out and they sing their hearts out. They support the team. And... Yes, it's a party and it's very loud. So he said that sometimes it, it becomes so loud that he can't even communicate with the players. And I think that's a good thing. We don't, we don't want a timid um, crowd. We want a crowd that's engaging with the players. You know how we do it in South Africa with Gonga Mibalo and the paintings on the faces and the braids and everything, man. It's beautiful. And the helmet. Yeah, why not? And the helmets. So, like, it's, it's beautiful. Like, South Africa has a whole vibe to it. And then another question was asked about... And they also posed this question to Maela. He gave a beautiful answer. So, he was asked about the good defense that Pirates has had. And the bad defense, like, that Chiefs has had. They've been leaking goals, unlike Pirates. So, Maela basically said... We, we defend from the front, the attackers put in the work, midfielders put in the work. That makes it easier for, the, for us at the back. Mayela saying that it makes it easier for them to also do their job. So it's a team effort. It's not only them who are getting those clean sheets. And yes, they also, they also pose the same question to, to Jose, which was... Whether he starts with Evanga, whether he starts with Koki and Sibisa and Maela, like whichever combination he goes with, the team plays well. Is it, is it because of his tactics or is it because of the structure that he's putting in the team? And he said, Maela has already answered that question and he had. It's, it's a team effort. Like defending starts from the front and they defend as a team. Like they, they're able to keep compact. And yes, man, like it's, it's, 
the defensive structure is very good at Pirates. I'm loving it, and we're not considering as we're not considering as much. And then another good question is like, I feel like they were ready. They were ready for Pirates. The journalists were ready to ask Jose um, all these questions because they asked them about the project that he has at Pirates. Like, how far along is it? Does he think it's gonna take two years? Does he think it's gonna take three years? And how far has he gone in that project while he's been there? And he basically didn't answer this. He swerved and wiggled around the question. I didn't, I didn't hear an answer. He just said, they're progressing, they're improving. They're on their way to, to their targets. And I didn't think there was an answer. And you know what bores me? Like, I've said this in the pre-match chats before. Um, like, they're asking him about injuries. And he says he's not the person to ask about injuries. If it's not but when it's but when, like, you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know what's happening in the squad, Jose. This is, it's, it's annoying. It's annoying, really. Like, how can you know? How can you not know? And if you don't know, why don't you ask? Like, why don't you ask the medical team? Who's, who's struggling with an injury? Because it could be a niggle. Some players, we know, they play with injuries. Like most footballers, we've played, most of us have played soccer before. You, you want to play, and even normally, man, you want to play, you want to get on the pitch, you want to show your teammates that you're willing to put your body on the line. But the manager should know, the coach should know who's fully fit, who's 90% fit, who's 50% there. Like, you need to keep you need to keep um, track on what's happening in your squad, Jose. Like, you are supposed to give us the updates. If you don't give us the updates, there's no way we're going to know. Journalists should... They can't ask Innocent Mayela um, who's injured. So who do we ask? I feel like the next press conference, a journalist should ask him. So you're saying you don't know what's happening with the injuries. So if we don't ask you, who should we ask? Who do we send the email to? Who should come to the press conference? You are the person who's supposed to tell us. Tell us what's happening with the squad, guys. Like, even the teams. Even the teams should put out um, media releases. Like, tell us. Stay. We want to know what's happening with Pule. We want to know what's happening with Lodge. We will want to know what's happening. We obviously saw that Mahop is back. Like, we want to know how far along the injuries are and who's who's carrying an injury and what's happening. You, you need to start answering these questions. Stop telling us that you're not the person to ask, Jose. Jose, Jose. Like, stop that. You, I feel like he needs to stop that. He needs to stop that. And another question that I'm going to end with, he was asked about how pirates, how pirates are are uh, not so much worried about keeping the ball but Chiefs are and he said that you know what tomorrow Soweto Derby we don't have to worry about being the best team in the land we have to worry about being the best team the better team against against Chiefs and I think that was a good answer you know you need to you can only play what's in front of you and you need to put your best foot forward so tomorrow we need to go out there and shy Chiefs that's all we need to do and we need we, we need not worry about being better than Sundowns, being better than um, Royal AM, being better than Morocco Zalos. We just need to be better than Chiefs on the day in that 90 minutes at FNB Stadium. We, that's what we need to do and I think that was a, a good answer. So yeah guys, tell me what you think about that press conference if you're able to watch it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Up the box!